Hello, friends. This is Josh Ayan from the Mick Network. I have a very special guest with me here today. I've got the new head football coach for the Lawrence Central Bears, <laughs> Will Patterson. Will, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, Will, this is not the first time you've applied for the head coaching position at Lawrence Central. You've grown <laughs> up in Lawrence Township. Uh, what, what does this position mean to you just knowing uh, the journey that you've gone through? Um, this, this is, is a, it's a huge job. Uh, it's, it's a, a, um, a special homecoming. Uh, think about, uh, you know, you see college coaches like Jim Harbaugh, you see your, your Pat Fitzgerald, the Northwestern, uh, um, those guys going back to a special place to coach and, um, live out their career. Uh, that, that's what this is for me. Um, you know, obviously I grew up in Lawrence Township and graduated from Lawrence North. Uh, so it, was, uh, it took a while uh, to learn how to be a bear, but um, <laughs> nevertheless, it's it's uh, it's kids out there that uh, really need um, what I bring, and I I really hang my hat on that. Um, so it's it, it's going to be special. I said uh, I think the Lawrence Township is excited. Uh, some of my my folks that are still at LC, some of my bear family there, uh, excited to see me come back and. Uh, uh, I know my wife and my daughter, my daughter, she, uh, we left her in Lawrence. She's a student at Forest Glen. So um, she's excited for daddy to be back in, uh, in the district and uh, lead a new program. Part of your coaching journey took you to Arsenal Tech for the last two years. You, you got a six and 14 yeah. coaching or combined record in your two years, including a five and five record. You earned city coach of the year honors. What would you learn from those two years at Arsenal Tech? Um, yeah, I learned that I wasn't ready, uh, at, when I applied for the LC job the first couple of times. Uh, um, and I'm, I'm very grateful for, uh, my experience at Tech. I'm grateful for, uh, the ups and the downs, um, uh, you know, and, you know, it, it took some days to, um, you know, just to really get through there. It's a lot of praying, a lot of believing, uh, that, uh, things would turn around, but it also took just a great staff of, uh, young uh, guys that I put around me to help uh, to build that program. So uh, just the experience of being a great head coach and what it takes to run a um, to run a program is something that I, I really took from uh, from Tech. You know, I said that yeah, I take the good and the bad, uh, and I know what works now, and I know what it doesn't work, uh, and I know where um, I know where you know just the the talent lies in the city. Um, and I know, uh, you know, what, what a lot of parents um, are looking for and uh, just developing their young men. So um, I, that's, that's you know, in, in all, I'm just here to be a, a resource to um, young men that, that want the same dream that I lived um, as, a, as a high school kid. So. And ideally, you'd like to be connecting with these young men at Lawrence Central right now, but obviously – We've got the coronavirus crisis going on, uh, yeah. which which really limits access to um, trying to connect with these student athletes. How do you plan to go about trying to connect with them with with this crisis, and how, how does that impact your overall uh, plans for this off season or for uh, preseason rather? Uh, well, I'm just I'm just praying that uh, this this thing gets uh, uh, pushed through here uh, pretty quickly. I know. Um, you know, try to trust our leaders in the country and the medical field that, you know, a lot of this stuff will get um, taken care of. I uh, got somebody uh, actually very special uh, to myself and to our, our LC program that is uh, fighting through um, this COVID uh, situation right now and Coach Abdullah. Um, so just, uh, uh, I, I think I'm going to, I'm going, well, actually I'm going to partner with uh, Mr. Bannis, uh uh, our athletic director and Mr. Bush, uh, our principal, and just using some uh, technology um, until I have an, a chance to uh, actually get in front of the parents. I think we would have already had our uh, first family meeting um, uh, had, you know, the terms been different. But uh, you know, I told, you know, I, I did an interview yesterday and I told them I, I, uh, I've never had to coach virtually. So, um you know, this is this is one way that uh, that'll stretch me uh, and and uh, teach me how to be uh, more resourceful in in technology. Um, even though uh, that's something that you know we grew up in, but 
I th I think uh, you know we utilize uh, they've utilized huddle in the past, um, just com communicating with the players, uh, the the families, the parents um, are uh, extremely active on social media, um, and I I found that out just from uh, this <laughs> this past week. I, my phone's been dying every day from the people that have been retweeting and following and um, all that good stuff. So. Uh, but that that is uh, extremely exciting. So I know they they are very supportive uh, on social media. So I'll I'll be able to connect with um, the families uh, electronically. As far as the um, the X's and those and things, uh, you know, to make it a little bit tougher. But um, I think that um, you know once we once we uh, go in and be simple, uh, it'll be something that'll be easily uh, picked up by the kids. Well, Coach, looking forward to next season. You're inheriting a, a Lawrence Central program that has struggled to gain some traction over the last few years. Uh, what yeah. sort of identity do you want to bring to this program, and how will you take them back to their winning ways? Uh, we're going to be physical. Um, that's that's my my number one answer. Uh, um, and I, I kind of uh, I adopted this uh, philosophy from uh, my offensive coordinator, Ryan Green. Uh, over uh, when I went to Tech, uh, is their their main thing was just I thought they were crazy. Uh, was, I'm, I was I just came from the mind frame of trying to keep guys uh, healthy and being mindful of their bodies, and I still am. Just, that's just my professional and college background, just knowing how to take care of the body and um, how to set guys up successfully so that we make it through an entire season. But uh, their number one thing was that we got to bang. Uh, we got a bang every day. We we even hit on Thursdays uh, when I was at Tech, and uh, thought I was crazy, but uh, or thought they were crazy for uh, doing that. But it really showed um, when it was time to play. Uh, I think our level of physicality just uh, went through the roof um, as far as um, our program um, when we lined up on Friday night. So I uh, definitely want to bring. Um, that that vibe of being physical and playing with our energy uh and i'm, I'm sure the guys are gonna get tired of hearing me say energy um every day in practice i know my kids at uh, tech did they it was like a broken record but just playing with our energy playing with passion um and being consistent uh that's something that you know struggle with obviously with the, the change of coaches yeah i mean it's kind of hard to get a direction when um you know, somebody new every every couple of years. So, um, like I said, this is it's a big job, uh, one that I'm excited about. But I think uh, Lawrence Central uh, is one of the top jobs in the state. So I'm excited to to be there, um, and I'm excited to uh, really just get to uh, making that program what it should be. Well, Coach, hopefully we'll be seeing you and uh, the rest of the team on the practice field very soon. Thanks again for your time today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely.